Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I wanna to talk to you about creating an image map and that type of image map where there's little points on an image and you can kind of hover over them and you get for some information about that specific little point on that image or you can click an external link and it'll bring you to another page, that kind of thing. Uh, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. I recently needed this type of uh, plugin for my own project. I'm working on redoing the conductor plugin website and I needed a demonstration of a screenshot. When you hover over the points of the screenshot, it would explain to you what these areas uh, of conductor was doing. So let's just dive in. W one thing, we are just over 800 subscribers on the channel. I would love to hit a thousand by the end of January, 2017. There's only a few days left in 2016. So thank you everybody who supports this channel. And if you do enjoy videos like this, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. All right, so I got my demo site up and running already. Uh, the plugin that we're using today is Image Hotspot by Devin. It's put out by a solo developer, Lee Van Tone. I, I hope I've pronounced that name correctly. And there's a handful of these types of plugins that are out there. Um, some are very, very intricate. So if you're looking to design like a campus map or something that really takes uh, or really needs uh, a lot of detail in the sort of hotspot areas. Uh, for instance, I, I can't remember the name of the plugin uh, right now that I tested, but you could actually draw like, uh, you know, an outline uh, in a specific area, and that would be like a, uh, a region of a map, that kind of thing. Um, but there was a lot of options with that type of plugin. There was just, it was overkill for what I needed. This plugin is super straightforward. Uh, it allows you to put points on that image and then put the content that you want on that point. There's not a lot here um, to some fault it, that we'll explain in a little bit, but I did find it to be the most straightforward, lightweight, drop a short code in a page. It did the trick um, that I'm about to show you. So check that out. Uh, let's go to uh, once you install the plugin and activate it, uh, it drops in on the left hand side, the image hotspot admin area. So I'm going to go ahead and go to all uh, items. And you can see here, I already created one. It's called Conductor UI because, again, I'm, I'm redoing my conductor site. And I've dropped in an image here. So all you have to do is go to Upload Image, select the image you want to use, and then insert that into your um, image hotspot custom post type that we see here. Now, the one tricky thing that I didn't really like about this plugin is when I went to, well, heck, let's just go ahead and create a new one just this is a tutorial, right? <laughs> uh, so let's say new screenshot and I will select the image, select it. You got your image there and now you're ready to sort of put your points uh, on, on this image. And you go to select pins. This is the one drawback that I think will be a stumbling block for some people where there, there are no pins. They're expecting you to upload your own pin, which is good and bad. I mean, it gives you the ability to upload your own type of pin, but what about if you don't have any pins, right? <laughs> uh, you know, you could do something like uh, transparent uh, map pin. You could Google that and go to images and maybe download one of these as long as it's, uh, you know, you're able to use it and redistribute it, that kind of thing. I went into Photoshop and created a little 20 by 20 red dot, uh, and I had to go ahead and create that. That's the one drawback, uh, you know, if you don't have something like that right out of the gate. So here it is, I'm just gonna hit select, and I could actually create another one that it was, give a hover effect, so if, it, if I wanted to change it to like a white or black or something like that, when I hovered over it, I could do that. But I'm not gonna do that in this example. So you get your pin ready to go. I didn't really mess with any of the pin center position. Uh, you know, for this point, I believe that's for, you know, if you are hovering over that where the little dialog box pops up, which you'll see in a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add point. It's gonna take that uh, pin image that you, uh, that you specified and drop it right in the left-hand corner there. And you can drag it across this image and put it anywhere. So, you know, example here, if I was explaining what this little slider did, uh, for conductor, this is going to be the slider that shows the amount of columns um, on the output. So I'll click that pin and a little modal will pop up and it's WYSIWYG. So you can add some formatting to this stuff if you want. Uh, but I'm just going to use straight text. So I'm going to say uh, this is how you control the output of columns. And I could uh, link this to another pin. I could put a link in here if I wanted to and link it to another article on my site. Um, and I could actually change the pins again here if I want to. And I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And as soon as you hit publish, you'll get this short code here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this short code up here in the right-hand corner. 
And I'm going to go to my page where I have this um, uh, other one set up. Page image alignment. I got it here somewhere. If I can see it, I got my microphone in the way. Here it is. <laughs> image map page. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to get rid of this example one from before. And I'm just going to paste in that, that new short code that I had. Go ahead and hit update. And again, you can add this stuff into pages and posts, that kind of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and view that page. And there it is. Uh, there's my image. And there's the little hover effect that I uh, added before. Now, there again, some drawbacks is it's not super customizable. Um, but if you're looking for something that's super straightforward uh, and just gets the job done, you know, I really recommend this plugin. Uh, if you needed to control sort of the look and feel of this stuff, that's when you're going to have to start writing some CSS. And maybe the developer will eventually um, add some kind of customization features to that. But I mean, it's just so simple. Uh, let me give it a better view here if I switch my baton template to full width, get rid of that sidebar and preview the pages again. There it is. So a little bit, a little bit bigger now, a little bit more clear uh, on the image. And you can just add these points sort of all over the, um, uh, that image. And I'll just show you how I used it in uh, the conductor redesign site here is I have them all sort of highlighted where all the different features um, and functions of this screenshot and I can explain more. This is great for anybody who needs to explain things uh, in, in this sort of image hotspot. I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, again, very straightforward. The plugin is called Image Hotspot by Devin. Check it out. It's on wordpress.org. You can just install it, activate it, put those pins in there. Again, uh, it's fairly new, only 100 active installs. I'm sure there'll be more to come. Uh, hopefully, if you have any issues, you can open them up uh, on the wordpress.org support form. It's plugintut.com. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, share it with friends and family. It really helps us get found. Remember, thanks everybody as we sort of wind out the new year uh, or wind out the old year into the new year. Uh, I really want to reach 1,000 subscribers. If you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, I would really appreciate it. Thanks everybody.